Uh, hello everyone. And today I'm going to show you a little bit of my workflow as I work on Sublime Text uh, syntax for Clojure. So it works like this. So basically the syntax itself is defined in Sublime syntax file, which has like some, some headers, some definition, and then mainly a list of um, I don't know, uh, forms like uh, instructions how to parse a source file, right? So it's basically can consist of regular expressions and different ways to combine them. And then after you, it, it, it's mostly complete right now. So there are some little things left to do. I'll be explaining them. And after that, you have a syntax text file, which basically references your your syntax file, and then for each form that you want to test, like that, you define the test condition. Basically, it says that, for example, these three characters should have this class, uh, the whole expression should have this class, and so on. You can also inspect each each character after the cursor, for example, here, uh, which classes does it have? So it's basically source, course, C, everything has in file has that. Meta parents, uh, punctuation section begin, parents begin closure, and so on. Right? So, yeah, uh, in test file, well, I, I don't really do that. Oh, I don't really care about that, so doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so, okay, so the stuff I'll be doing uh, right now, oops, sorry, stuff I'll be doing right now, for example, uh, this is what I found out. So basically, uh, uh, here you see that I'm using like different background for quoted um, symbols or expressions, like here, right? Uh, but what I found out is that is that enclosure, actually, if you leave a little bit of space between the the symbol and the code itself, it, it still works, right? It still escapes. The same as, as this. If I remove this, uh, it, it won't work. So basically, uh, we shouldn't be capturing just the the quote character, but also any amount of space before it ends the symbol, right? So yeah, let's let's write a test for that. So basically, it should work like this. Data script core this is our symbol. This is uh, just a ram random combination. Uh, so basically, we use this to check that uh, it applies, and we use this to check that after parsing this, it stops, right? Because if you make a mistake, it might might actually also cover rest of your file, which you don't want. So as we see now, it doesn't really work. So this works uh, if we expect that it has uh, the right class meta quoted, right? But this doesn't. It doesn't has uh, this meta quoted. Um, um, here. So basically we, we are going to write a test, right? So uh, our test would be well, covering that, really. So basically we want that to be meta quoted. And after that you just run uh, command B, which runs all your tests in this file. And as you can see, here it complains about our line 26, which is correct. All it complains, it actually complains about every single uh, character here. So basically we have like 17 of them uh, here and they are all wrong, except maybe the first one, right? So this is because we haven't uh, implemented this as of yet. Another thing, another thing is that we want to test is that only the first character has this uh, keyword operator quote and rest of it doesn't have it, right? So uh, there is minus keyword operator. And we should have like many more, well, yeah. Okay, so this means not have this class, okay? So now we're going to back to the def syntax definition file. We're going to find this quotation here. So basically this is the expression that um, parses our normal quote, right? So regular expression is really, really simple. It's just a single quote. It actually escaped single quote, but it's it still matches just a single quote. And then it assigns the keyword per the quote here. And after that, it kind of pushes uh, another 
another uh, frame on a stack and on that stack uh, it's going to match everything actually after matching one single form it, it will use this regular expression which is just an empty regular expression it's a little trick that will uh, make it uh, pop out of the stack so basically after this symbol ends it goes out right but because like there is space it ends actually this fires way too early right so what we are going to do is basically we are going to insert space here and now as you can see uh, because syntax highlighting does that uh, we got what we want but if we run this we, we still have like um, a wrong assumption actually uh, these two characters as, are also matched as uh, let me show you as keyword operator right because we match them in the same expression so basically everything here uh, was matched as um, this keyword operator instead we're going to like split this expression into two groups the first one is uh, what we're matching and the second one is space and uh, we're going to use let me find the yeah, captures and the first group will get that the second group will get nothing and if we run now it it's perfect right so we just fix that and it seems to work and we are going to do the same actually for everything else so basically for syntax codes any amount of space um, capturing group captures one yeah, like that. Uh, also for unquote as well. Like that. And uh, actually, yeah, metadata here. It, 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 I already did this for metadata, but I did it a little bit wrong. Okay, so let's see if we run it here. We see that our old checks um, didn't work, but we are going to write new ones, right? So basically, like that. Oh, I, I'm going just to try uh, triple colon here. And let's see. So it must be meta quoted syntax. Uh, the first one must be keyword operator quote syntax, and the rest shouldn't be it, right? Yeah. Actually, let's let's double check that it ends. Like that. Yeah, it seems to work. Okay, and for metadata, here we want to have the same thing, right? So basically, let me let me do that. Dynamic X. Okay, yeah, so basically I'm using gray uh, color text for metadata. So again, I can visually check that it's correct, but I still want to, to cover that and punctuation definition metadata. Right. Um, yeah, I'm still not sure if if this should be keyword operator or punctuation still works okay perfect and yeah let's let's just make sure with another test that actual and metadata ends as well so we have 
Can we read this? Yeah, and unquote as well. So let me just change. Oh, let me change. Okay, okay. I am going to do unquote inside, right? So sorry. Unquote x. Unquote splice xs. Okay, so this will be a little bit trickier. We are changing it a little bit. Uh, like that. Then we are going to make sure that all three are, oops, are met uh, encoded. And this has keyword operator unquote. This doesn't. Uh, let me check this. Is, yes, it seems to work. And the same for the second form, like actually I'm going to. That right, so it's still not unquoted. This is gonna be like uh, the first two are uh, keyword operator, and the rest is basically not okay. Yeah, it seems to work. Okay, cool. Uh, so we have car Z, that, and that. What else do we have? Reader conditions. Conditionals. Do they um, should they match that as well? I, I actually I don't know. Well, it would seem strange, right? If if they allow it for empty space, and they probably cannot. Okay, let's let's just do that for just in case. So, uh huh. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, so I actually matching everything uh, all up to the opening parent as a punctuation, so I'm not going to split it here. I'm also wondering if uh, dereferencing is allows for multiple spaces. Yeah, it allows for. Okay, so then dereferencing is has to have this as well. Okay, this is pretty pretty tedious transformation, but it shows a little bit how this test and everything else works. Here let's have two spaces, atom and basically Oh yeah. Let's try that. Okay, cool. And yeah, commas, metadata definitions, constraints, regex code, regexps. Yeah, I guess we have it covered. I don't think you're allowed to. Keyword integer. Uh, I think we have it covered. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay. So another thing that I wanted to to do uh, to to change here is actually how metadata is is. Is done. So basically, right now, any form after the metadata is highlighted as metadata. But according to closure spec, here here metadata, right? 
So it only it can only be symbol list vector set. No, 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 no not that. Yeah, it can be symbol string map or keyword. Right? So uh, and yeah, let me just show you how metadata is parsed. So basically, we first match this um, this character here, right? Then any amount of spaces, and after that, we push into metadata scope, and we include any of the forms. So basically, we try to find any of the forms here, right? And it's it's all it is almost right, except it isn't right. So what we should be matching instead is just string. Uh, let me string keyboard symbol uh, string symbol keyword. Or map. Oh, damn, I have brackets all together. Hmm, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let me let me split them into lists. Yeah, I guess list vector. Because we are not interested in, for example, vectors or maps or lists, but we are interested in map, for example. So basically, something like that, right? Then we go. Let me check that no one includes brackets. Okay, so here we replace it with list vector. Well, actually, yeah, and we need to another one for set. It's okay. So map and set are different a little bit. Right, so map and okay, map and set. Now uh, we and we need map. So basically, instead of including everything, every possible form in here, instead of including any possible form in here. Okay, so I'm going to actually I realized that there is some well yeah let's 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 do that first. Let's not do everything at once. Okay, let's so right now we need to move that down to the metadata, right? So metadata is here instead of including every possible form, we are just going to include those forms, right? So string key or key symbol map. So basically map map keyword and symbol probably first uh, the order here doesn't really matter because they all match for different cases uh, but uh, in case they both match the same thing the first one goes on but because they might will always match different things it doesn't really matter okay let's see first that we didn't broke anything yeah see, so here we have a map we have a symbol we have a string and we have a keyword and we know all of them match perfectly right and we know the space between metadata so much so what we are gonna do now is actually have something like that and uh, make sure that this isn't metadata Right, and also let me do a vector. Yeah, unfortunately, we cannot 
do that in a single string this test i mean but yeah and it seems to work so basically and we can see by the color right that this is uh, highlighted in gray the, the the text color is gray which means this is uh, metadata and here the color is black which means it wasn't marked as metadata yeah okay so it seems to work okay cool and uh the thing that i wanted to change was that actually not on the space here but um <laughs> let me do this uh if i put a comma here in theory it shouldn't change anything right all right let's see so let's see this example for example uh, so what if i put comma here it still works right because comma is a white space character in closure right so it, it should be uh matching commas as well everywhere as well huh. yeah well, where we match white space right so instead of uh backslash s here we should be matching backslash s or commas right the only difference is that uh, we have to apply this class to the comma so let's go actually let's start with our quote that we did here um yeah So the way it's gonna work is like this, I guess. So it's either white space or a comma. And if it's a comma, we're gonna match it. We're not interested in this group at all. So we are using non-capturing group here, but capturing group here. So basically, yeah. Uh, and if it matches here, we will just assign this class to it, right? So let's let us check here. Uh, basically, what the way we are going to test it is we're going to do this. It moves everything one character forward. Okay, we broke something. We see. Metadata, uh, line 77. Hmm. Oh, yeah, because we haven't implemented this yet. Okay. Um, yeah, it still works, right? So for quotes, it works, and we actually have to make sure that this comma has punctuation class assigned. Like this. From? Yeah, it seems to work. Okay, cool. Uh, and we're going to do this for all other syntaxes where we've tested for spaces, like this one. I'm going to put the comma in here, in here. And yeah, basically, it's a, it, uh, it's a little bit of maintenance, but it's all right. So, meta unquoted. Uh, there is five, no, four, right? One, two, three, four, yeah, four. This is this. After four is done. No, 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 like this. After that, go here. It looks strange, but it, it has to parse as we intended to parse. So we want two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Okay, there's five, so three more. This is gonna be the operator. This is gonna be not the keyword. Okay, it doesn't work. Cool, it shouldn't, all right? So again, we're doing the same trick here, using the same expression. Um, yeah, there's actually a way to generalize this. And this is what it's trying to do here. Okay, let's let's use it. Um, the only thing I don't like here is that it's going to create group always. But I guess it's fine. Okay, so white space. And we can reuse it like 
click here. here but it's easier to read I guess so yeah the only thing I worry this is the first group we can see here the second group we can't see but it's uh, it should be alright okay this is quote unquote and something is broken the probably test isn't correct somewhere okay let me figure out so it's line 43 character 21 this one quoted. Yeah, yeah, it shouldn't be unquoted. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it should be seven, not, not eight. Yeah, now it works. Okay, so the test was written wrong. Okay, let's let's move on. So metadata, same as there. White space comma actually the hard part is well, updating the, the tests I guess right let's, let's see that it actually okay yes after that here and after that so here yeah cool and in metadata we are gonna check that it's it's here yeah, and it works. Okay, so for metadata it works. Now, what's next? What's next? Next is probably this. This is. Oops. Uh, Deref. And I'm actually gonna create its own. Include for the ref because well, I don't know. Sorry, like that. Right. Let's see. Where is the ref? Okay. Let's see that if you put a comma in, in here. It all works well. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Actually, we don't have to do anything with the ref because we are not actually capturing it. No, no, no. It's, it's still better to keep it in the same group, I think, because logically the same part, blah, blah, blah. Okay, anyways. Um, this should be notation definition comma. Right. Let's see, yeah, it seems to work. And the last one is reader conditionals for which we don't have tests, but yet. It has to be something like that. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, let's let's do something that isn't done yet, right? So as I told you, much of the stuff is already complete. Some isn't. So work what isn't. But it's it's pretty trivial, but we still have to do it, right? So let's just. I guess. Uh, let me let me just check because I check everything. So let's say we want to see uh, I don't know map, right? So this is logical map. Let's put a space. Yeah, it, it still allows for var. It is called var code. Var code is hashtag uh, this thing. The single. 
to what, right? So operator uh, var, well, it's, it's probably var quote. I don't know. It is the operator, right? It's not punctuation. Well, it's kind of a punctuation, actually. Um, hmm. Or is it? There is like um, alpha escape, for example. Yeah, there is one up. So it's, it's kind of an operator, okay? So yeah, let's include it. And, and you got basically it's the same as with this. Actually, I'm probably. Well, let's, let's call it war because it's war. Should cover two, right? So like that. And it seems to work. Okay. The other thing that I want to do is to actually arrange this in a way it is specified in the file. So work out first and the refs and reader conditions. So just it's easier. I think it will be easier to navigate this way. Because I always add to the top. Yeah. Reader conditionals, um, quote, syntax, quote, and metadata. Quote, syntax, quote, and metadata. Now it's, now it's cool. And the last but not least is anonymous function. So basically, well, we already have uh, kind of, we will already parse the parents. What we do not parse, well, actually, well, well, Hmm. Okay, so actually when I parse list, I also parse this, right? So, um, well, I'm not sure about this really. I'm not sure about this. Hmm. Should we have a separate function definition? Well, let's see. So, when in doubt, I usually do this. I switch to the default closure syntax in Sublime Text and see what, what they do. Well, they don't do much, do they? Okay, let's say that it, it, for some reason it doesn't work in on top level, but here we have function deform Entity name even um, I, the function. Okay, okay. Let's also check. So there's another source, which is uh, actually the Sublime suggestion function. Okay. Yeah, so we have to mark it as the entire scope of function should be covered by one of the following scopes. Each variant should be added. But uh, parameters, return type, meta preprocessor, meta pass, through what? Okay, hey, whatever. So, uh, what we are interested in is meta function. So, basically, if we see something like that, we should make it meta function. Okay, let's try a test for that. Let's see it fail and then let's. Um, so, this all should be meta function, right? Um, 
There is also like punctuation thing. Basically, we want this to be punctuation section parents begin. And we want this to be punctuation section parents end. And we also want to make sure that after that, there is no function. Right? And yeah, and another one is meta parents. But we don't want care in which order they go. So it's basically this should have both classes. If I write like this, it means this should go first and this should be should go next. So order matters, right? If I write it like this, order doesn't matter. Okay, let's see it fail. Okay, it, it fails on the line five, which it should really uh, okay let's let's remove it from list let's see yeah now i broke this ligature here what we want this restored actually the parsing would be pretty close to the list right so let's go actually i'm going to put it next to devs because it's it's kind of like definition but uh, kind of like a special form of definition Right. Ah, uh, no, Nibos FN. So basically, it goes like this, right? Then uh, we match this. Um, well, can you really do? Okay, let me check if this valid function. Okay, you can do space here. Okay, cool. So this is going to be punctuation section parents begin, then uh, meta parents closure, match this one, include main, right? So include everything, everything, everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this seems correct. This seems correct. Um, yeah, the, the only thing that we want to do... Well, okay, we had 11 fails here, right? Let's see how much we got now. We have 12, so <laughs> we actually broke something more. Okay. Well. Okay, I'm, I'm, ah, because I didn't include it, of course, yeah. Uh, because now it, it's it's still goes after it. Okay, let's see. And now we have back to eleven. Okay, something. So yeah, so here we have to meta parents closure, meta function, right? Everything, everything that uh, is matched by between this and this here will be the metascope. What, what it does, we will have these two classes. Okay. These two scopes, really. So if you run test now, we have still have eleven. Hmm, this is strange. This is really strange. Oh, huh. Yeah, now it's, it shows different. Yeah, now we have just two files, right? So, why two? Okay, let's let me see. Meta, meta function doesn't match scope. Source. Okay, yeah, yeah, 5.12 and 5.13. Okay, what is 12? Basically 12 is this.
So basically, okay, let me, let me see what problem, what, what is the problem. So, let the parents met a function. No, I don't get it. Let the function. So the function didn't end there, right? No, I did. Do we really have to turn it around? Doesn't seem so. Okay, and it seems like it's offset, actually. Could it be offset? Yes, so the end Wait, what? No, there is one invisible character somehow. <laughs> I have no idea what it does there. Yeah, uh, well, this was crazy. So there was some invisible white space or something like that in between. And this was it wasn't displaying it but the uh, offsets were all wrong, right? So now it's correct. And we see this is uh, like proper parents. If you put them in another parent, uh, like correctly highlighted, they're matched and all that. So anonymous functions, yeah, let me move this test again. Let me move it to, to the defin test. After the defin, defin test. Uh, yeah, kind of, kind of here, I guess. Yeah. Okay, and this is more or less it, I think. I think that's it, right, for now at least. Okay, let's, let's see. All that I had in mind for this, like quote unquote, quote again, metadata, commas, I have covered. Uh, there shouldn't be, oops. Not line. Yeah, it all seemed to work somehow. Okay, cool. Let's um, let's let's finish with that. So this was how I developed the syntax for closure, which is really close to completion, and I hope to announce it um, pretty soon. Okay, so thanks for watching, and bye bye.